Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is on uh, the parabolas again, module 12.2. So we're going to move uh, the parabolas away from the center 0, 0. So, so here's our question here. So what characteristics uh, does a parabola have with the vertex at HK instead of 0, 0? Okay, so recall um, uh, our parabolas that had a, a vertex at 0, 0 had these equations. Y squared equals 4px and... Uh, the horizontals are x squared equals 4py, and oh boy, I have a bridge to sell you. Those are wrong, you guys. So, so verticals are when x squared equals 4py, and the horizontals are when 4px. Okay, remember, once upon a time when uh, your teacher said graph y equals x squared, y equals x squared gave us an up and down parabola. So here, if uh, x, if um, if it's positive, it makes a smiley face, and so it's positive. If it's negative, it'll make a smiley face down, a frown face. Okay. So I just want you to recognize that when it's vertical, x is being squared, and when it's horizontal, y is being squared. Okay. So here's equations of parabolas with vertex h, k instead of 0, 0. So we're going to uh, set up a, a table here. So go ahead, set that up. I'm going to give my students some time, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flash back right here, okay? Verticals are x squared equals 4py. Horizontals are y squared equals 4px. So instead of um, 0, 0, we're going to have h, k. So h always hangs out with x. k always hangs out with y. So this is going to be... Uh, x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. This is going to be y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Okay, x hangs out with h, uh, with x, x hangs out with h, and, and k hangs out with y. Okay, so there's vertical, there's horizontal. All right, and then when p is positive right there, it opens up and it opens to the right right there. And when p is negative, it opens down and opens to the left. Okay, and then and then here's the focus. The focus is P. The distance from the vertex to the to the focus point is P. Okay? And memorize that. I'm just kidding. Don't memorize that. There's a just graph it, you guys. Graph it makes so much more sense. But notice um uh, the H stays the same, so the X stays the same, and the Y changes. So when it's vertical, the Y changes, and so the focus point is up or down from the, the vertex, okay? And then uh, when it's horizontal, then the, um, the, 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 it goes left or right, okay? So the H uh, part changes, okay? The directrix is Y equals K or X equals, I'm sorry, did I say K? K minus P. And for horizontals, X equals H minus P. Now I'm telling you, I don't remember those little magic formulas right there. I don't even remember those parts right there. Graphs help me the most, okay? So P... P is the distance from the focus to the vertex. I want you to remember that. and um, Or the vertex to the directrix. And and uh, always, you guys, always, 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 the vertex is in the middle. Okay. And always the parabola surrounds the focus. Okay, so let's, let's try some. Sketch the parabola, state the vertex, if it opens up or down, and to the right or, or left. And some of them will open to the right or left. Sorry, I should have wrote that in there. And then write an equation for the axis of symmetry and show everything, okay, basically. Okay, this is our old form. Old textbooks 10 years ago for me showed it like this, okay, and so this would have been floating K over here, but, but that's not what our textbook does. So we want it to get it in this form where the X is being squared. So remember, uh, H hangs out with X and K hangs out with Y. They're in alphabetical order, okay. And then so what I need to do right here is get rid of this one. We're going to subtract one and put it over here with the y. And we're going to get we're going to get rid of that one fourth. We're going to multiply by four and put it over there. Okay, so here we go. Okay, all right. So so what we did is we subtracted one. So minus one minus one. So this became y minus one. And then we got uh, rid of this one four. So we did times four times four. And so here we are right there. Okay, so now it's in this form right there. Okay, so the vertex is at opposite opposite so at 3 comma 1 right there okay all right and then what we're going to do is go ahead and graph and we'll do all of the focus and directrix in just a second so so let's go back up here okay so here's one fourth so it's going up because it's uh, x is being squared so when we go over one 
When we go over 1, it goes up this number times 1 squared. Okay, 1 squared is 1, 1 fourth is 1. So here we go. Over 1, uh, I'm sorry, from the vertex. Over 1, up uh, 1 fourth of 1 squared. We're going to go over 2, over 2, 2 squared is 4, and then 1 fourth of that is going to be 1. So we go up 1, okay, on both sides. So if we go over 2, 2 squared, 1 fourth of that is uh, 1, okay. Let's go back to the vertex. Over 4. The reason why I didn't go over 3 is because we get a fraction. 3 squared is 9, and then a fourth of 9 is 2.5. So if we did that, it would go 1, 2.5. It would be right there. Okay, can you see that right there? Okay, anyways, over 4. So let's go over 4 from the vertex. Over 4, 4 squared is 16, 1 fourth. It's always this number, 1 fourth. Uh, times how much we went over squared. So that's what this point is right there. So so there they are, and we're going to graph those guys. And then here's the um, uh, the focus. The focus is this 4P equals 4 right there. So 4P equals 4, so P equals 1. So remember, this parabola is always surrounding or protecting the focus point. So the focus point is 1 up. So there's the focus point right there okay so the focus point is at uh, 3 comma 2 okay and the directrix is one down below so the directrix is a horizontal line horizontal lines are y equals zero okay all right just got to practice you guys oh sorry it said find the axis of symmetry the axis of symmetry is where we can fold this dude right in half so this side would fold over on that side and there you go okay let's try this one all right, this one's already set up, so the vertex is at H. Remember, H always hangs out with X. K always hangs out with Y. They're in the ordered pairs of alphabetical order, H, K, just like X, Y. Okay, so opposite, opposite, so the vertex is at negative 1, negative 4. Okay, there it is. Okay, this is going by 2's again, so there's negative 2, so negative 1 is right there, and negative 4. Here, y is being squared, so this one's a horizontal one, and since that's negative, it's opening to the left. It's going over here, okay? So it's, I know it's going to the left, okay? So there it is right there. And then um, uh, 4p equals this number right there, okay? So 4p equals negative 2 divided by 4. p equals negative 1 half. So if we go over a half, that's what's going to be p. Okay, so, so here's negative 1, negative 4, so when I go to the left, that's going to change this. So we're going to go to the left a half, and so negative 1 minus a half is going to be negative 3 halves. And when we go to the right, negative 1, when we go that way, plus a half is going to be negative a half right there. So the directrix is x equals negative a half, and that focus, it's hard to see right there, is negative 3 halves comma 4. Okay, so let's get this in the form of um, uh, x, okay? So let's get rid of that negative 2 so we can see how much it goes over, okay? So what we I did was is I divided both sides by negative 2. So this is going to tell me how much it goes to the left. So when I go up and down, because it's going to the left, when I go up and down 1 from this vertex, okay? So up and down 1, these are going by 2s. So up 1, it's going to go 1 half times 1 squared. So 1 half times 1 squared. So up here, so 1 squared is 1. It's only going to go a half, okay? So there it is right there. I went up 1 and then over a half. Down 1 and over a half. Okay, I don't like that fraction. Let's, so let's go, uh, let's go up 2. 2 squared is 4, and then a half of that is 2, okay? So up uh, 2, that's going to take us right there. Remember, the squares are by 2's. And then 2 squared is 4, and then we always take this 1 half. So 1 half of, one half of 2 squared. Okay, so up 2 over 2, uh, down 2 over 2. Let's try one more. Let's go up 4, okay? 2, 4. So we'll go up 4, 4 squared is 16. And then a half of that is going to be 8. So that's going to take us to negative 9 right there, okay? Same with down, okay? There's our parabola right there. Don't forget your axis of symmetry is where you can fold it. So it's always on the vertex, you guys. So if it's horizontal, it's y equals. If it's uh, vertical, it's x equals. And it's always on the vertex, okay? 
the vertex is negative 1, negative 4, so y equals negative 4. Okay, find an equation of the parabola given uh, the focus and the directrix. Okay, so here we go. I always make a graph of this stuff. I tell my students if you, when they come up and say, I don't know how to do this, I say, well, graph those points and graph that point in that directrix and then come back to me. So so this is at negative 5, or I'm sorry, 5, 1. So over 5, down 1. And then this uh, directrix is a vertical line, x equals, x equals negative 3. Okay, okay, there it is right there. The vertex is where? The vertex is in the middle, okay? Always in the middle. So there's the vertex at 1, negative 1. That's HK, okay? So we know that right there. And remember, the parabola always surrounds the focus, so it's going to the right. So that tells me it's Y is being squared. Y minus K squared equals 4P times X minus H, okay? Remember, K always hangs out with Y, and H always hangs out with X. Here is HK. So hk is 1, negative 1, okay, so negative 1 goes here, positive 1 goes here, so this is going to become plus 1, all right, 4p, what's p? Well, p is always this distance, and since it's opening to the right, it's positive, so p is positive, so let's go ahead and substitute that in, and we get, uh, there's our equation right there, okay, let's try one more. Okay, got to graph them. Let's graph them. So negative two zeros to the left, two. And y equals four is a horizontal line at y equals four right there, okay? And the vertex is in the middle, so the vertex is right there, okay? All right, so negative two, two, uh, that's uh, hk, so there we go. And uh, the vertex, uh, I'm sorry, the, the parabola always surrounds the, the focus, so it's going down, so if it's going down, x is being squared, and this is uh, h comma k, and so 4p, here's p, p is negative 2, so substitute that in, and there's our equation right there, okay? All right, if you guys are in our class, you're going to get another worksheet, that's the, the first part of it, and I'm going to let you guys pause it for a second, and then here's the second part. All right, you guys take care.